the Playable Characters Podcast. Hello, everybody. Welcome to level 177 of the Playable Characters Podcast. My name is Brian. How you doing? Um, Brian McGinnis here, solo Capitan host of this podcast that we've been doing for three and a half years, where we interview video game characters, and it's super fun and ridiculous. Thanks for joining us. We have an amazing guest today. We're going to get to it in a second. And thanks for those watching on YouTube. If you're listening to this and you want to watch it on YouTube, go for it, because our guest is here, and it's the best. Um, Follow us at Playable Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. Um, And uh, we put up some stuff there, some clips, some funny things. And uh, yeah, everybody, you've been amazing during this quarantine, keeping me sane as I sit here in my super hot closet doing this podcast for you folks, because the fans are the most important thing right now, or else I'll lose my mind. Hey, uh, let's dive in. You guys see your your phone or your YouTube, who the guest is today. It's going to be the best. I had this game. I had both versions of the game. I'm one of the few. It was super fun. We have with us today... The one and only, the DJ Hero. How are you, man? Hey, how you doing, my friend? Uh, you know, no, you're not for nothing. Like yeah. that was a good intro and, and whatnot, Brian. But like, oh, sure. you know, could I like, you know, it wasn't great. I'm sorry. It was, it was all right. No, you you do what you got to do. But like, right. can I, you know, because like I'm used to like a like a big fucking right. like a big robust type of intro. So do you mind if I like do it? You know. Cause like you don't you don't do it too good. Hey, you're the king. Go for it. I've been doing this for a while, but you you know best. Definitely. Go All, right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> is that typical uh, pre pre game? Right yeah, now? this is this is how I prepare. This is okay. my uh, what you call it. Yeah. Party <laughs> people in the place to be. It's your DJ DJ Hero. What straight out of Nutley, New Jersey. That's right. It's your boy <laughs> Dominic Mal- Maldonado, <laughs> aka Dom Perignon, aka Dom Selleck, aka right. Atomic Dom, right. aka Dommy Guns, aka Dom Cruz, aka okay. Dominic Nax, aka DJ Spinson Van Flo. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we got a sound effect there. I think so. I thought it was supposed to be like <laughs> I had like an air horn, but like uh, now I don't do nothing. No, that was that was amazing. Hey, uh oh there it goes. <laughs> all right. See, that's what I had go. I keep that thing on me. You keep your air horn at all times. You know, when just, you gotta just you make a big ass rounds. Just in case. Oh uh, that, that was great. Why so many nicknames? I want to ask. Oh, uh, I got some legal problems that maybe oh. I don't want to get into right now, right? Hey, if you want to, this is the podcast to do it on. All right. Well, you know, I I, I made some uh, hasty investments, so you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of a little on the run, kind of doing this DJ thing as a as a side hustle. You know, let's let's not even get into it. I, like this could be you know admissible in the court of law. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't no who knows. I ain't no yeah. law doctor. So, <laughs> you're not a law doctor. Yeah, is that what they call when you like you're fucking presenting your case? Like uh, a law doctor, you know, your honors. I got the I'm a, I got the law degree here. Right, I think I'm it's a doctor. Thing. Yeah, I, th- I think we know what you mean. Yeah. Um. So what what should I call you though? This is a lot of. Are you wait, hold on? Are you worried people might confuse you because you have so many aliases? Or do you, do you have a main one that you want to go by? Oh, uh, you could call me. You know, let's go with uh, my my. Current uh, Norm de Plume, the yeah. uh, Spinson Van Flow. Spinson's uh, Van Flow. Right, right. Because like I had like a bunch of other DJ names I liked. I wanted, I wanted to do fucking uh, Spin Diesel, right? <laughs> but then there's like a the fucking 90, uh, 90 mooks out there with the fucking Spin Diesel. So I was like, it, oh, I can't use that, that. Is that right? I didn't know that. That's a good name, dude. Good. There's so many Spin Diesels out there. It's disgusting. <laughs> I guess it's, it kind of, he he was popular. Gross. Yeah. Yeah, so then I was like, oh, maybe I'll do like Spin Deanna Jones, you know, like, oh. uh, like, a, like a throwback. But there's another, some 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 j- Jamoke out there who also is a Spin Deanna Jones. And I wanted to do uh, Osama Spin Laden. You know, my, <laughs> my shit is the bomb. But like, well, that, that was like, oh, maybe that's in poor taste. <laughs> Whatever works. Is, is, is there really a Spin Deanna Jones? That's no, crazy. look it up. I swear to God. Is <laughs> Some some dope out of fucking Indianapolis. I don't know what the fuck. Well, uh, like yeah. he is, he's out there. Yeah, wow, it's uh, it's it's clever. I guess what I guess the, one of the biggest parts of DJing is picking that picking that name. That I know you it. gotta you gotta have the word spin in there somewhere. It's like uh, the bylaws or something. So I was like, okay, you know, or for spin free. There's a chick out there with that. 
Yeah. Okay. You know, I don't know. I just made that up. You know, that's, that's, that's I, I kid. I, I'm joking over here. I, I'm a jokester. I'm a prankster. You are Spinson. Uh, Spinson, yeah. right? Spins- right. Spinson Van Flo. I was going to go with like Spinson the for a little bit, but I was like, ah, that oh, don't that don't roll off the tongue, right? So I was like, Spinson Van Flo. Yeah. After that, there's that artist that guy, uh, Vincent Van Gogh, who, right. like, who like painted art and stuff. So I was like, oh, I'll do that because my shit's a work of art. Yeah, he cut his ear off. Why? I think Vincent Van Gogh cut his ear off and gave it to some lady. Some broad? He was bang. He was was he banging her? I something? think he wanted to, and he was like, "Here's my ear." I think it's something like that. I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Bro, that's some weak game. What the fuck? You, you don't give no. you don't give some broad some your body parts, except you no. know the main body part. You know what I'm saying? High five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how'd you get into DJing? What what made you want to choose this career path? It's obviously uh, it's, you know you're a fun party guy. Is that how you kind of realized this was your calling? Pretty much. I mean, like, uh, what you call it? You know, I'm, I'm the party dude. I'm always, you know, GTL. I'm tanned up and, uh, you know, my body's looking right. And uh, I'm always in the clubs. What's, you know, GT- oh, what's GTL again? That's like gym, tan, <laughs> lotion. What is it? Lotion. Is that's it? it? That's right. Yeah, you got to stay oiled up for the broads, you know? Oh, okay. You can't go in there all ashy. I just showed my right? age. I just showed my age. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Broads don't want no ashy dude. You know, Never. humping up on them. That's gross. That, Never, that yeah. fucks up their mascara. Come on. So, yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm always there in the clubs, all the fancy places, you know, like yeah. a hunk of bunker and what have you. Yes. And then I was like, I just saw the dude, the dude up there, with the DJ dude, like, hitting buttons and, like, go doing this thing with his hands. And everybody was all bonkers over right. him. And then, like, all the women were like, oh, can you play, uh, you know, single ladies or whatever, whatever the fuck that <laughs> your broads like? And so I was like, oh. I should do that. Like I'm in a, I'll be in a club every day. I'll, yeah. I, you know, I get money to press buttons. Right. I do like this. See some, uh, see some cleavage. Hey. Get, get, uh, get drunk on uh, Red Bull and vodka. That's that's a life. Yeah. That's a life, my friend. And so, what, what was your childhood like? Did you, did your family like music? Were you, was it, people always say like rappers? Like my, my, my dad always played records, and my mom always danced around. Like, was it kind of like that? Uh, kind of like that. Uh, you know, my, my dad was, he was around somewhere and my, my, my mom's, yeah. my mom's was like, uh, you know, she was like into like tons of music. Uh, mm. she kind of, she worked at like a roller disco. Oh, uh, she says she worked there. I don't, she was there a lot, but <laughs> she, you know, she, you know, she was like, every time like I go into roller disco, she like put me by the jukebox and while well, mm. she went to, uh, she went to do something. I don't, Work. I don't know. Like she, Right. I don't know. She she always came back with money and and sore oh, knees. So, but like, yeah. So like, you know, w- once I was left alone by the jukebox all the live long day and listening yeah. to you know the disco and the the freestyle and the hip hops and the dance electronic funk and stuff. <laughs> all that. I was yeah. like, you know, it gets in your bloodstream. So you're like, yo, I think I could. You know, this is music's a part of me. Now. It's a beautiful thing. You just you, you just absorbed it. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely, dude. You know, you're just like, oh yeah, I like this. You know, I'm I'm cool with this uh, technotronics and uh, and then uh, the hip hops and what have you. This is this is the life. Now, now is, is the game modeled after you? Are you the DJ hero? Like, is is that was it? Is it about? This is a story, but is it your life? What this game oh, about? Excellent question, my friend. Excellent <laughs> question. Good something, right? Uh, uh, I'm gonna say yes because okay. you know why not. I'll, I'll I'll take credit for that. Like, uh, sure. I mean, if you remember in the game, it was always like you know pressing buttons and yeah. you do the do the wiki wiki yep. and you know, like you know and all the all the whatnot and what have you. Mm. And uh, I would say that's kind of based on my life. You know, a uh, couple times I did so much uh, Molly and uh, PCP. Like I saw buttons. PCP. And, yeah. Oh, PCP. Right. Yeah, you know that. me. And I saw so much of it on the. I, it took so much of the drugs, like I saw mm. the buttons and whatnot on the vinyl. So, like I was actually trying to do that on the vinyl because I saw like the buttons and the colors on the vinyl and whatnot. Sure. And uh, so, based on my drugged up hallucinations, I'm gonna say yeah, they based that video game on my life and, mm. and me. Hey, that's a big accomplishment. Very cool. Very right? Cool. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now, only if I got some of the fucking royalties from that shit, that'd be even better. Oh, they haven't paid you for it. <laughs> I ain't, they ain't pay me. I ain't see a check or nothing. They just like they were like, "Oh no, this that ain't you, Dominic. That's, uh, a, that's somebody else." We we saw the in New Jersey who got high <laughs> off of PCP and Angel Dust and 
<laughs> so, so colors on vinyl. That ain't you. It's like get the fuck out of here. That's yeah. me. Just give me my goddamn money, you, you mama Luke. <laughs> is there is there a big DJ seat in Nutley, New Jersey? The biggest. What the fuck you talking? There's me. <laughs> There's that one guy down the street. Oh, <laughs> uh, you guys battle ever? DJ battles? Nah. Okay. <laughs> you know yeah, he's no, no one has two uh, PS3 turntables to to play with. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I know that. Yeah, there's that one guy down the street, and like, you know, we're cool. So, like, yeah. uh, you know, he has his side of Nutley. I got my side. But you know, I take my, I take my uh, talents all over the place. You know, oh, like cool. I'll go, uh, you know, I'll go down the shore. Yeah. Go to uh, Ronkonkoma. <laughs> go way out there. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I tra- have uh, DJ set. We'll travel. Nice. I go uh, Yonkers. You know, all, all the I hit up all the hot spots. Yeah, basically, definitely, definitely. You know, we're but- all the music. Uh, I really enjoyed the game. I remember when I was playing it for the, one of the first times, I'm sitting in my living room, DJing like crazy, doing my wiki wikis, having a good time. My yeah. wife, I guess she was my fiance at the time, she walks in the apartment and I'm like, I can't, I can't look at her because I'm like, I'm, I'm mid game. I'm, I'm mid song. You know, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't want to mess stroke. up. Yeah. And I, I guess the song ended she, and I look over and she looks at me and she's just shaking her head and just like walks away into the, into the bedroom. <laughs> and I was like, I, oh. Why do you think virtual DJ doesn't get the respect that it so clearly deserves? Excellent question. I don't do it. I don't know. Like for some reason, like when you when people see like you know the Guitar Heroes, I know you had him on a, yeah, a while back. Very well. Some, some John, dope Johnny Thundercox episode. Yeah, no, eight or dude, nine that and, guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where he is. I think he's fucking dead in the river or something. <laughs> well, like yeah, he was he was talking smack about the DJ Heroes because yeah. like, like like we don't do yeah. nothing. Like right. we're just. Like we're just some uh, dope with our uh, speak a deal in our hands, and that that ain't right. <laughs> and like, cause like we're we're making fucking music, we're making lives better, we're yeah. making things happen, we're making people hump. We're we're like Definitely. we're doing it all, baby. Yeah, I mean, I but wanted the does... I wanted the humping to happen. It didn't so much. My wife was like oh. later. Yeah, but well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta. I mean, if you want that to happen, you gotta put the game down and uh, sure. pick, the, pick the woman up. You know what I mean? Too. Maybe cut my <laughs> maybe cut my hair off or something. I uh, don't do that. Look, yeah. look, I don't know. Like after you just told me this news, I may have to change my DJ name. Uh, maybe, like, that don't. If you ha- maybe unless you you know you should you know some DJs put like the headphones on just like one ear. Maybe that could be your look. Maybe that could be your thing because then you then you'll be really Van Goghish. You could like paint blood on the one ear that's that's not like that's exposed. I don't know, bro. I like that. What, right? I, do. I like that. I'm fucking. Where's a pen? I gotta write that down. That's all good. About it. It's all that's about good. Image. It's all that image. You never oh, know. Yeah, um, I like that. Do you hang with the Guitar Hero or even the Rock Band guys? Do you guys get along, or is there a big rivalry there? Because it's such- nah, yeah, no, nah, we're we're different cliques. We're yeah. different cliques. Like he, they, like they do their thing, we do our thing. Like they don't see us, you know, the young hip kids as like sure. you know viable music. You know, they're like, oh, they're like I'm I'm gonna do an impression. Here. I'm good. They they're like, oh, what's that old? What's the young whippersnappers doing? You uh, you just, just spinning, scratching record. That's not music. Like that's good, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Just Sounds fucking just like spot them. on. Sounds just and, like them. Yeah, and like the and like with the old folks, we you know we're like ah, they don't know what they're doing. They're all high on a you know peyote and coke right. or whatever the whatever the fuck. So right. like we don't really we don't really hang like that. Okay, I got you. So the the, the two worlds don't mesh very well. Nah, uh, nah, okay. like that. It's it's a uh, oil and uh, uh non oil. <laughs> right. Um, were you always into? You, you said you you hang out at the jukebox a lot. Were you always into hip hop, or do you like all genres? I know people sometimes are just like I like everything except country. That's always like the kicker, right? Like, do people really like every type of music, or do you do you find yourself gravitating towards one type of thing? For nah, no, no. Nah, everybody don't like no all types of music. I right? mean, country. I mean, unless you're some uh, hillbilly from the sticks, then you, you don't like no country. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah, I, li- I like a lot of the hip hops. Love the dance. Right. Love. I love like the '90s stuff. That that's that's my vibe, you know, because that's right. like yeah. that gets the older ladies on the dance floor, like you know, like the the milf, yeah, know, like the like the women in their like uh, early 30s and whatnot. <laughs> like I'll play something like you know, you know, like La Bouche or like you know that real McCoy song, like. Yeah, you know, Crystal Waters like that gets the ladies hopping, and that's okay. that's that's my vibe. That's like, oh, oh, mama, mama mia. That's yeah. That's, that's uh, that's the, that's the stuff that gets me going. 
you look like you either have when, when you the way you were sitting, the thing behind you looks like you either have a top hat on or a very nineties uh, buzz cut right there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my oh yeah, that's my robe. It's like kind of. Like, a positive news from De La Soul right there. Whoa, that's a throwback, my friend. I thought you were going to say, like, kid and play or something. Oh, yeah, they're the kid. Or oh, that black kid from Hey Arnold. One of those. <laughs> what's, um, what's hey, high- Arnold! <laughs> Fuck's wrong with your head? It's like a goddamn football, you freak. <laughs> what's up? Remember that show? It's a good show. I didn't watch Hey Arnold that much. Yeah, me yeah. neither. Okay, yeah, great reference, though. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um... What's the hottest club banger right now? What's the one that, you know, gets people hype and jumping around and everything? Club, hottest club banger right now. Boom. Uh, now, most people will tell you it's that song, that WAP, that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, right. what, that's Punani, that, the, the WAP. I thought it was whack ass, uh, I thought it was whack ass podcast. I thought that's what it stood for. Oh, no, that's, that's, an, that's <laughs> like another me. thing. <laughs> no, no, it's, but, 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 be what ass of, uh, private parts. Yeah. But it ain't that. Like, I'm going to say the hottest banger out there right now. I'm saying it. Blue by Eiffel 65. Um, blue. La, da, de, da. Still? Oh. Yup. Anyway. Still, I'm still rocking it, boy. <laughs> I think you should. Do you have more records than that? Or, or you should probably maybe upgrade your account to buy more songs. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> Why? Why mess with the classics? If they, if I like yeah. it, and do like, like, see, that's the thing. That's the thing about DJing that a lot of people don't get. Like, if yeah. you play whatever everybody else is playing, that don't make you special. Mm. That just makes you some other mama Luke on the on the corner playing whatever Hot ninety whatever is telling you to play. If you're that dude, yeah, that's like playing like you know Hadaway or you know that Robin S song. You're that you, now. You now you're talking. Okay. Now you're like a diamond in the rough. How do you want to do? How do was the uh uh the baby, what is don't love? Hurt me. Yeah, don't hurt me. Right yeah, come come on, the thing is a fucking yeah. classic. It's basically like uh you know, like the the national anthem of of dance, whatever. It, it kind of is. I mean, you hear it, you 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 get taken back immediately to SNL first of all, right? With the Jim Carrey right. sketch. Yeah, the uh, head nod, the da da da. See, it's yeah. fun. You're, you're having a great time. You're dancing already. I'm just. I, I even play the song. I'm just talking about the. We're song. just thinking about it. It's in my head already. Yeah. Okay. See that? That's the stamp. That's the mark of a classic song. So you I, play that, and people are like, "Oh, that guy's playing that song." These uh jamokes over here, they're just playing the same whatever, whatever. You know, later for these chowder heads, I'm going over to this dude over here because he's playing what right. he's making me dance and make me feel something. I'm going to this side of Nutley. Right. That's right. I'm going yeah. to this side of Nutley. I'm yeah. on this side of Bloomfield Avenue. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, you mentioned people who play the same thing. Like, like wedding DJs kind of suck, right? Were you a wedding DJ ever? Or the, I remember when, with my wedding DJ, I specifically said, I don't want you to run around and say, hey, everybody, get your hands up there. I, didn't want, I, I, didn't, I told him that. I like, don't do that. And he said, oh. you sure? I was like, yes, I hate it. So you Did see, he do that? No, he didn't actually. So oh. he, 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 he did his job very well. But um, have you been a wedding DJ, or do you consider them a lower form of DJ or anything? Hey, 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 hey! Every, every, all DJs, well, it's like a brotherhood. We you okay. do what you gotta do. I did do little, you know, wedding DJ stuff sure. here and there. You gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah, you know, you gotta do. You like y'all play the chicken dance and the electric slides, right? I said none of that. Yeah, 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 and the uh, what you call it? Uh, step in the name of love before that dude got arrested for you know doing God knows what the chicks. Oh, all that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, didn't he? I don't know. He probably, did, right? probably. Who, yeah. Oh, I think he did, my friend. Point? I think. Did you not see the doc? <laughs> my own. Okay. That, that guy's he's gross. <laughs> but yeah, so I played all that stuff, and like you know the the women dance and the dudes dance, and yeah. it's a good place to like you know get your uh, DJ feet wet, as well as other things. You know what I mean? Once the <laughs> bridesmaids get looked it up, hey oh, <laughs> okay, it's yeah. it is on. That sounds like a good time. Right. GTL. Yeah, Jim, t- Jim, t- t- tanning, Jim, tan and lotion. That's right. That's right. <laughs> How did that become a thing? Um, oh, you know what I ask you? What did you think? Uh, like, I, again, I, I really enjoyed your game. It was different. Guitar Hero was such a huge hit. This Thank came out, and pe- yeah, and people thought it was weird. But when you actually played it, it was very well done. The songs and they were the the mixes were very well done as well. Um, what did yeah, you- what was your favorite mix? What was your favorite mix? What 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 the favorite work of mine that you was, like? Wasn't there a Marvin Gaye and, Grapevine? Yeah, 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 yeah. and and like uh Gorillas, De La and 
the, the girls in De La song. I think they mixed that one. And right, it, was, this. It, was, it was great. I yeah, love it. yeah. It's pretty fantastic, right? You're welcome, America. That was oh. you? you? You produced that one? I don't want to see. Yeah, I, 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 I don't want to brag, but uh, yeah, I'll say, yeah, I did that. That's all, I'm not going to check. Great. Yeah, it was all on my iPod one day, and like I dropped it and it all kind of scrambled oh. around. So what happens. Yeah, and it sounded like, oh, this sounds all right. That's cool. From Gorillas to the, the Marvin Gaye. Yeah. And it went to like uh, like a Green Day song and probably, then like a probably, yeah. James Blunt. There's right. a whole bunch of stuff in there. It was fucking beautiful. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. What did you what did you think of when Def Jam Rap Star came out? Do you remember that game? That was kind of a competitor. Not really, but sort of. Uh, I think the game was super illegal because they didn't clear any of the songs I heard. Um, and you could, it was just all Def Jam songs. You just rap over them. It was kind of like karaoke with rap with rap songs. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that shit's full gazy. They're trying to like, yeah. they they coming out with just so it's just the beats and you just no, rap it was, over. It the was beat. the actual song. It was the videos and everything. And I I have a copy. I still have my. And I heard they got in so much trouble because they didn't ask permission. It was kind of like they got another Prince Paul reference. Prince Paul De La Soul. They just took all the samples and didn't. They took all the songs. Didn't ask anybody for for permission. Apparently. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, that's it's one good. of. No. One of the main reasons why I have so many uh, names, like a- Atomic oh. Dom and Dommy Guns. That's I like Dommy Guns. Thank you. Actually, yeah, Dommy Guns is not allowed back in the state of California. Really? Uh, but, until but, uh, 2025. But Spinson Van Gogh is, or Van Flo is. Spinson Van Flo is. Okay. I mean, okay. Spinson Van Flo is not allowed in this in the city of Miami until uh, 2023. Okay, you put different. I got a flow down. chart. I got a flow chart of where I can and kind of go. In case so, you're driving, in case you're driving around, you don't want to go into the wrong place. Yeah, I gotta yeah. take the long way. I gotta like, oh, I gotta <laughs> cut through Louisiana because uh, gotta go around you know. my gotta go gotta go around Miami. Yes, exactly. Dominic Nax is not welcome in uh, this part of uh, Georgia. <laughs> gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, how come other instruments you think haven't gotten their uh, their hero spotlight? You know, you got guitar, you got DJing. Where's other 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 one? Trumpet hero, sitar hero. What are we waiting? What are we? What's the next big thing? Sitar hero. Who the fuck wants sitar hero? I don't know. That's just one. Yeah. Four fuck out of here with that. No, one four hour long beat. <laughs> yeah, just like you folk. You're playing like a like a George Harrison on uh, <laughs> yeah. Ohio or wacky on shrooms and shit. Exactly. No Get the fuck out of here. No one <laughs> wants that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I mean, it's just like DJing, Guitar Hero. Those are the cool things. May- maybe piano. Maybe you could do like a piano hero, but like, okay. I don't know. Ain't too many cool piano players. It's like Billy Joel, the king. Right. Uh, Elton John, that, you know, he's like the Billy Joel of England. And, uh, you know, Ben Folds, and that's about it. Well, they did have the keyboard in, uh, in, in, in Rock Band. Oh, that's right. You know what they did? Yes, they did I- do that. I know it's not your thing, but yeah, I have that keyboard still. Little they mini, did right. Or mini guitar, kind of. It was like a mini guitar. Yeah, like was that? Yeah, but like when you're playing the guitar, you don't feel cool. You just like, like, Ugh. like you yeah. feel like dorky. You know, you know that a little bit. They don't rock. You know, unless it's 1988, they don't they don't rock the same as like a guitar hey, or did, a DJ. Yeah. Did we ever find out uh, who rocks the party that rocks the body? Did we find out? Never. We did. I I oh, rocked the party okay. that rocked the party. <laughs> Why did you hear the rest of that song? A lot of people ask it. Who rocks the party that rocks the body? I do. I rocked the party. Did you not hear that song? Did I you think I, I didn't hear the rest of it? Did you just like hear the question and not stay for the answer? Yeah, I hear it all the time, so I didn't know. Bro, okay. come on. This is, well, you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You you specifically, you you rock. Yeah, me specifically, me. I I I am me. It's a lot of shout outs to you then over the years. I know I'm a very popular dude. What can I say? You know, yeah. Ladies love me. Men want to be me. Hell yeah! You like uh, what was that Razor Ramon? <laughs> Razor. Oh yeah, I was thinking like uh, Austin Powers, but yeah, oh, Razor Ramon. He's good too. It's one of them. <laughs> one of the Austin Powers, Razor Ramon, potato potato, right? Um, They're interchangeables. Yeah. Now let me ask you this uh, about proper show etiquette. I myself, I like go to hip hop shows. However, I'm a six foot six white dude, so I stand out pretty badly um i don't enjoy throwing my hands in the air i feel like I'm, i feel bad i'm blocking people behind me and they can't mm. see and they will and they and, and, and they just get mad um what should i do looking like me going to a hip-hop show should i should i just dance like no one's watching type of thing or should i stay all the way in the back and know my know my place 
You should not go at all. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm kidding. Dominic Kids. You might be right. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, Perfect. got a million of them. But boom, I'm like Don Rickles. <laughs> So, uh, so I should still go, you think? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah you know, your, your money's good. Go. Okay. I would say, like, uh, what you call it? Uh, I'm just always aware that I'm blocking someone behind me. They're like, this fucking guy. Yeah, yeah. you're a tall dude. I saw you. You're like, yeah. like my God, you're like Big Bird. I am. I would, uh, you probably stay, you should probably, you know, fuck, do, do you. Stay in just, the front. What up? Okay, maybe I'll just do it. If these people really want to rock and see the party, they'll find a way to look over your your big uh, ginormous self. All right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like you could be like an obstacle in the way of them partying. Uh, if they really want to party, they really want it. Right. They'll find a way around that obstacle. So, think- like you know, with with your big mountainous self in their way, they'll like <laughs> they'll find a way to look around you or above you. Maybe they'll climb over you. I don't know. You're you're a fucking giant. I and it. like some you know, and like once they find their way around you. That'll make them feel like more accomplished and shit. Like they're like, oh, I did it. Like like when you climb every every rest, you know, like, oh, (laughs) I made it to the top. Yeah. I am somebody. So like you can help them in a way. I'm more than happy to uh to uh crowd help somebody crowd surf if if it needs or put someone on my shoulders. That's fine. Oh, you You ever done that? You put like some some hot broad on your shoulders and you're like, oh baby, well get off my shoulders on my uh onto my lap here. Not quite. Red Man jumped on me once at a concert. Oh, Red I was, Man! I was in the front row. I was scared out of my mind, but I was right there. And he jumped right on me. It was pretty fun. Jumped oh, off why? the stage. He just he jumped just... off the stage, you know, having and fun. He just jumped right on you. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why you of all people? <laughs> like, like you, you, think you were a cop or something? <laughs> he jumped at the crowd. I happened to be right where he was landing. So uh, yeah, I, I imagine he smelled like a bag of bag of chronic. Yeah, like I mean, a I was huge back at chronic. I was like eight, nineteen, and terrified. At that, gotcha. but it was a good time. Very wow. good. Time. Yeah, it was a good. ghost face and friends show. And friends, oh, yeah, all right. So it was four hundred people on stage at this at one time. <laughs> so literally all of his friends. <laughs> yes, all to wrap it over each other. It was amazing. It was oh God, time. this is uh, Red Man. That's Method Man. That's my 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 buddy Joey. He <laughs> grew up. He, he's down. He grew up down the block from me. It's time. <laughs> Todd, yeah. my mailman. Right, right. They all they, they all came. Yeah, it's good. I went to pre-K with. Right. Um, what's your specialty as a DJ? You know, some DJs do the thing where they where they turn around, they do it with their elbows, they go backwards, uh, uh, upside down. Do you have a cool specialty that you do on stage that gets the crowd all hype or anything? Uh, well, you know, since I'm spinning Van go Van Flow, I forget. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm high on Molly. Okay. Like I'm I'm working on this thing where it's like a, like I call it the paintbrush. Mm. Where like I, like uh, I take I see the record right, and like yep. instead of like using my fingers, I kind of like brush it like with my hands. <laughs> like I literally go, <laughs> okay, and it goes back. It hurts my hand a lot. Yeah, so I can't do it. You know, a lot, a lot. <laughs> but when I do do it and it does work, it's it's uh it's this fucking beautiful thing. Sometimes like I'll do it too odd, and like the record will like fly off the record player and like oh, hit wow. somebody in the face. Oh, it happens. Yeah, and then that's when I got to pack up my stuff and leave town. Hence the uh, just just you know, from that? many names. Just from that, huh? Yeah, you'll be amazed. I got I got big strong uh, big strong mitts over here. Like, <laughs> you got it for for DJing. Yeah, absolutely. You can't ha- you can't come in all uh, weak handed and whatnot if you're gonna be a proper DJ. You can't right. you can't come in with no baby hands, with no Trump hands. You got to have the the big gotta right. have the big gloves, big meat hooks for this job, my friend. Yeah. The what? What are they called? Big, the big meat hooks. Meat hooks. There you go. Oh, right. DJ Meat Hooks. Oh. Son of a bitch. I should have done that. Yeah. Because hooks is also like hooks for songs. You know what I mean? Oh. And all, oh, all you would do is play the hooks. I like that. I like over, that very much, over, my friend. Over and over again. You wouldn't play any lyrics. Just a hook, the hook, the hook. <laughs> well, I guess that's kind of on blue anyway. You know? I like that, my friend. I should do that. I should definitely do that. Go for it. Go for it. DJ Meat Hooks. All right. Oh. I, I like it. You can come wow, out. You're, you're rebranding me, brother. You can come out like a butcher's outfit covered in blood. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a fucking horror movie. I ain't trying to scare the people. I'm just trying to fucking make, make fuckers dance. <laughs> uh, anything's possible nowadays, you know? Anything is possible! <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin Garnett? <laughs> yeah. I, that who that said that? I heard I it in that uh, Lonely Island song. I was like, I thought I applied it. I think uh, Kevin Garnett said it once, too, when, when he oh. won the title back in 09. 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 909. Anything, Anything is possible! <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, let me ask you this. Um, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> so back in the day, DJs, they had, they had to lug their crates you know, like to the show, put them behind the booth, and they'd switch records out. They had they go back and forth between one, two, three turntables sometimes. Nowadays, I think people think DJing is just open up an iTunes and click and shuffle. Um, what do you say to that? I say those people can kiss my ass. <laughs> because, I mean, yeah, in a way, it, it is true. Because, like, <laughs> you know, well, I just went back on my word, didn't I? I'm sorry. Again, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm Molly. Uh, DJ because, Flip. DJ Flip. Yeah. DJ Flip Flop. No, that's my, that's my old. That's the guy down the street. And no, oh, I can't. I can't take that. Can't take that's, that. We, we share. We share nothing. We can't. Right. Can't cross like that. But uh, yeah. Like I understand what you're saying because like if you remember like uh, you know from the classic uh, house party movie, you had a uh, right. Martin Lawrence. He was the DJ and he was like right. carrying crates and yeah. like you know shoving a speaker and his fucking uh, crappy little hatchback there. Right. Like that's because you know that's when you had to work for it. And like yeah. now, you, like you literally. Get like a laptop and go like beep boop bop, right. and then you're good for like five hours. And like I, I, you know, I'm I'm a little I'm not a crazy fan of that because like it's like oh you ain't put in the work, but mm. you know I, I respect the I respect the hustle a little okay. bit. Like like oh you made it like the people who are carrying crates, we made it easier for you young millennials and uh, you know whippersnappers to like do what you gotta do now. So you still lug your crates, your your records around? Oh, absolutely. That's how oh. I get in perfect shape. That's the G in the GTL. I lift up uh, speakers right. and mixes and crates. Yeah, yeah, boom. See? Look, oh, the brand is strong. Look Ooh, at those guns. Look at those guns. Yeah. Dummy guns, what? <laughs> how many <laughs> records? How many records do you have? You said you only play a couple of songs. How many records do you have in your collection? Oh, uh, like 587. That's a lot. Wow. You only play blue? It's my favorite. I don't know what to tell you. Like it, it, it works. Okay. You know, it's like how, yeah. you know, it's like how, uh, you know, you you have Hulu and Netflix has all those shows you can watch, right. but you only watch the same shows over and over again. Is that yeah. it? You're like, you know, Blue by Eiffel is my uh, Parks and Recreation. I don't know what okay. to tell you. When people tell me oh, I'm watching The Office for the eighth time, I'm like, why? It's a good show, but Jesus Christ, there's eight million other options. Why you, you know, what I mean, like. Uh, no, people, no, no, no. people are weird. I don't know. Like, they want, but I'm always curious why people don't want to watch anything new. They always like oh, I'm watching The Office again for the. I don't know. Show. I think like with people, it's like comfort food. You know, it's like yeah, a, like, it's like eating a like a, eating a sausage sub or something like a you know some some mozzarella and a, a meatball meatball hero. You know what I mean? It's like oh, I know this is whatever, but I like it, so I'm gonna have it and fucking la di da. Surprised you went to sausage sub for comfort food. What you don't? Oh yeah, you just like cookies or ice cream. You know? Whoa. All right, I guess you could do that if you know if you're a, if you're a housewife from Atlanta or whatever the fuck. But like, if you're a real man, you'll go get a fucking sub. Yeah. Okay. I, I like subs. Yeah. There you um, go. All right. Yeah. We had a question. Why are you, why are you, why are you busting my ends for? You trying to start a fight? No, I'm not. I'm not. We, we had a question. On we had a question on our Twitter. Tommy D Live wanted to know who's the DJ villain. Is there a villain? Are are you? Actively trying to beat somebody, or am I trying? As I'm playing the game, am I trying to beat somebody? I didn't even realize it. Is there? A oh, villain? I don't even think about that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the villain is uh life. I don't know. I, was that like an es esoteric uh, question there? That's pretty deep. It could be life, it right? Be oh, the Molly's kicking in. What I'm question questioning life. Could be the police trying to shut down your house party. You know what? Boom! I like that answer better. Let's give it that time, it's a, Tommy D. It's a, it's the police shutting down the house party. It's the police shutting down the party. It's yeah. uh, you know, old age creeping in because <laughs> you know at some at some point you're supposed to be you're too old to be in the club. That's right. the real villain, my friend. Arthritis for for you with those meat Arth hooks, right? Arthritis. It's the uh, the boyfriend or husband of the girl you're trying to bang. Okay. All those yeah. things are the true DJ villain. Thank I got you. I got you. Yeah, that all makes a lot of sense. Right, <laughs> don't it? Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. All right. Um, we gotta go soon. A any other last like, you know, uh bits of advice for up and coming DJs or any kids that want to get into this game? Like, what do you have to say to them? Anything they can bestow some knowledge upon them? Drop it, drop some knowledge. Drop some knowledge, drop some uh bombs, as they yeah. say. Uh well, first thing you gotta do is uh download 
like the air horn app because you ain't no DJ unless you have like an air horn right. on you at the ready. <laughs> do, you so you can for, do, do you pay for the premium or is that just a free one? Oh no, this is free. Good okay. Go. Hey, premium. Get the fuck out of here. Why? You ever, you ever just push my made of money? I'm in Nutley. Come on. You ever push the button and by accident it just says uh, it has like a Burger King commercial before it plays the actual air horn sound, like a, uh, like a targeted ad or something? Uh no. Sometimes like I'll press it and I'll have like the flavor flavor sound, like the. Oh wait. Oh, it's son of a bitch. It's all right. Hey. It happens. Well, sometimes it'll have like it'll say like. Yeah, oh. That's but, funny. like, you know, it still works. You know, people are drunk yeah. out there. Man. They don't care nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I met Flavor Flav. Have I ever told my Flavor Flav story in this podcast? People, let me know if you ever heard my story. I might have told it. I forget, but it's a good you story. You met Flavor Flav? Did he, like? At, at Olive Garden. <laughs> That's, that sounds on brand. <laughs> I was working there at the time. Okay. He came in, and I was like, holy shit, it's Flavor Flav. Who's there, like, there was, like, a manager or something. And I was like, hey, man, Flav, big fan. He goes, oh, yeah. I'm like, hey, my name's Brian. I'm a big fan. He goes, oh, yeah, what's up, B? What's up, B? I felt really cool because he called me B, like, right away. <laughs> I'm like, hey, enjoy, right. enjoy, enjoy your lunch. He goes, all right, cool. He, they put him in my section. 30 seconds later, I go over to him. I said, hey, Flav, I'm your server. He's like, no way! I'm like, I just met you 10 seconds ago. Why are you shocked by that? <laughs> like, we just met. And then uh, he ordered the chicken scampi, and he returned it. He didn't like it because he said the sauce was weird. The sauce was weird. That's it. Fucking, he's weird. Like he's complaining about the sauce now. Ten dollar man with a clock on his neck. Ten dollar tip. Ten dollar tip. Ten dollars. You know, it's. I mean, he's got to save the rest of his money for his baby mom. So I, I he's got a few. I don't, I don't picture Flavor as a, one of those rich rappers. You know I mean? Oh no, Lord no. He's <laughs> but he's 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 done his he's done his work. He's putting his dues. All that money goes to his uh, many many babies. Yeah. All right. So first step, get it. Get the Air Horn app. Right. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta. Oh wait, it's it's buffering. Okay, <laughs> buffering. Oh, right, here we go. DJ Wi-Fi. <laughs> DJ Spotty Wi-Fi. <laughs> DJ Spotty Wi-Fi. Exactly. I'm in a hotel right now. I'm using the <laughs> Wi-Fi from uh, La Quinta. Oh, would that oh. be it? like instead of Spotify? Would Spot a Wi-Fi be be a good name for something? Spot a Wi-Fi. <laughs> Combine Spotify I, and Wi-Fi. I. No, I mean, I I think that's like when the legal people come in over there. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah, know if right. I can use the Spotify name. I, I have that's to get true. another that's true. fucking uh, Nam the Plume there. And I, yeah. I can't think. The name Dom, you can only mess around with it so many times. I can't even think right. of anything. Yeah. Oh, Dom Cruz. Did I say that? I could yeah. probably do how about, that. How about Dom the Plume? Dom the... No, that's silly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. What the fuck? Now, Dom the Plume? Uh... You want to play a quick game of Wet Bad Dead with me? Hey, why not? What the fuck? It's, it's a wet bed dead, everybody. Dude, g g give me an air horn now. No, don't do oh, that. Oh, you, you said before. Now <laughs> I got to do it again. Hold on, it's buffering. <laughs> <laughs> wet bed dead. <laughs> All right, we're, I'm going to give you three video game characters. All you got to do is tell me who you want to wed, who you want to bed, and who you want dead. All Hit right? me. So I'll, I'll show you some pictures, too, right here on the screen if you look up. Uh, this first one is one of the most popular princesses of all time, Zelda. Yeah, it's a little oh. small. We know Zelda, everybody. She's a star of uh, 800 different Nintendo games. Um, most old people think uh, Zelda is a little elf boy, but uh, that's Link, we know. But uh, she's actually got some magic powers, right, which is great. Uh, well, she's she a, could do. Yeah, she could, uh, she, she, she's got magic. I don't know. Why not? Does she like uh, twerk and stuff? Does she like if she do that thing loose. with the, with the, with the tongue? If she gets loose, <laughs> anything's possible. All right. Um, so there's Zelda. Uh, we have one of the most popular first-person shooters that changed the game. The guy from Doom. The crazy demon-killing, machine-gun, big-fucking-gun-wielding guy from Doom. Um, I don't the know if he had a guy from name. Doom. He, don't, he ain't even got no name. I think he's literally called Doom Guy. Yeah. Doom Guy. Uh, he's got the armor. He's covered in blood and guts all the time, but he's in hell. Just shooting guts, shooting demons away. So keep that in mind. Okay. Um, yeah. This next one is Faith from Mirror's Edge, and Mirror's Edge is a pretty fun game. It's a she does parkour. She's a really she jumps off of buildings. She knows mm -hmm. she doesn't die. You know she knows how to land on her feet very well. Um, and uh, but she's got that. You know she's got a cool look as well. Um, so those are the okay. choices. We got Faith from Mirror's Edge, Zelda, and Doom Guy. What are your choices here, Spin Spin uh, Spinsons? 
Spencer Van Flo, get it right. Show some goddamn respect. Brian. Spinny Mine bag of donuts. That's a again, that's another guy. I can't that's not that's not me. It's a guy in Bayonne. I think, I think all the names are taken, it seems like. It's the lot. They're all gone. They all hopped on that spin. Any, any, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Yeah, all right, so uh this is an easy one. Oh, really? Right. Doom guy dead. Really? I, I ain't yeah, I ain't wedding or betting nobody that's covered in guts. All right, yeah. I made that mis- I made that mistake in Vegas once, and I swore. <laughs> why was never she? Again. Why was he or she covered in guts? Let's not get into that right now. All right, <laughs> let's not get into those particulars. What happens there, right? Yeah. Right, exactly. Right. What, that's right. what happens there. Happened there. And let's not yeah. talk about it on the podcast where it could be brought up in a in a in a, in a court of law. Right. right. Okay. All right. So, uh, that faith chick. Yeah, faith, yeah. Who's like all parkoury? Right. We, we met her. Okay. Because she's like parkour, so she's like limba. She could like do stuff. She could like bounce off the walls and do like a half gainer off the off the <laughs> nightstand onto yes. your uh, onto your speckle. Yeah. That's what you want. Okay. Yeah, you can do that all night long. That's what I like. It makes sense. And uh, then you wed the uh, the Princess Zelda because she's pretty hot and blonde. She's got money. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Uh, so you know, you live, you lived your happy life with your princess. Uh, you know, sitting by the pool, playing with your with your DJ uh, instruments, yeah. while your rich uh, sugar mama pays for everything. The right. end. I like it. I like it. That's um, really good choices here. Good, good stuff. All right, brother. All I make are good choices, right? That's, yeah. Well, <laughs> I got what... I got apps and everything. I'm, <laughs> right. They're all good choices. I got uh, airborne apps. Yeah, That's great. It things. is. Step one. Hey. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, endless entertainment. This thing. <laughs> this thing gets me. So, um, I kind of wanted to agree with you, but I'm also thinking, like, if you marry Doom Guy, right? You got this psycho protector around you at all time, which is which could be a good thing. You know, you're a DJ. You may need a bodyguard of security sometimes. I would imagine. Yeah, right? but you hire a bodyguard. You know, you on got, the you side. Got, you got it for free. You don't want to marry no bodyguard. Uh, all right. Well, hey, Whitney Houston wanted to. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> that's what I end every, all my sets with. Uh, <laughs> I will always I'm love every you. woman. Oh, huh? <laughs> no, I'm every woman. What do you think I was going to say? <laughs> I will always love you. That slow ass song. Nah. Okay. okay that's, that's, with that. Good. All right. Um, you end up with the Shaka Khan remake. Right. You know what I'm going to do though here? I'm going to bed Zelda. Um, all right. Because whenever there's a magical person on the show, I whether it's male or female, I want to get in there to hopefully some of the magic rubs off on me. That's what I'm hoping. So I want some of her spells, potions, fairy dust, whatever it is. I'm hoping I some of that will I will uh, walk away with that after a great night, hopefully, right? Or or afternoon, whatever she wants. Yeah, you know, uh, afternoon delight. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, so kind of debating this for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> well, you, you know what? Okay, we wed Faith here because she's in great shape. I would like to learn how to do some parkour stuff like she does. So we can we, she can train me. We can start off slow. You know, um, I feel like I would have to be the one working in the in the relationship here because she's got to be. She's training all day. She's jumping Ooh. off of buildings, jumping off of park benches, whatever it is. All right, all right. I hear you. We met her. And then, yeah, dead kind of the dead Doom guy here, which he's kind of used to it. He literally spends most of his life in hell shooting demons. So I don't think yeah. he'll be that disappointed, to be honest. Yeah, he's, he's he's living the life down there shooting demons. Like hell is his life. So what the yeah, fuck whatever. are you gonna do? Bring him up uh, to marry him and introduce him to your parents for you? Don't want that. No, no, that's too gross. Yeah, All yeah, right. exactly. My own. Spencer, um, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been amazing. Dude, thanks for having me. It's a fucking blast. I swear yeah. to God, this is, this is nice. <laughs> I think people didn't know you were the DJ here. I'm glad we got your story out. You know, hope your mom's okay. What, yeah, this is what I want. I want everybody to know out in the tri-state areas and That's beyond it? that the fucking real DJ heroes, this, this dude right here. Person. All right. Yeah. Just last some night goddamn night. respect. My own. DJ changed my life, right? Is that oh, nice? yeah. What about last you? Night, DJ changed my life. What <laughs> was that about you? Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, sure, <laughs> probably. Why not? I don't know. I did a lot of things in the seventies. I don't remember. A l- I don't remember much. A, l- a lot of, lot of, lot of Molly. A lot of, a lot of PCP. A lot of. Wait, how old are you? 
47. Why do you ask? <laughs> what you do? So 40 years ago, you were doing Molly, though? Nope. <laughs> My God, your mom really did not do a great job with you. Yeah, that uh, that roller skating <laughs> rink was uh, not not well policed. I'll say <laughs> that. So sorry. You, see, like overall, you turned out pretty good, though. Dom, fucking great. <laughs> did I not mention? I have yeah. an air horn app. I hear friend. You know what? Let's go out with that. Everybody, Dom, thank you for joining. Everybody else, thanks for listening. And we will talk to you all next week.